I'm here to tell you today that God is sending a strong wind. We must be prepared for the times that lay ahead for the body of Christ. We must be prepared in our spirits and in our souls and in our minds and in our bodies. We must be fit uh, to be used as vessels of honor uh, in God's kingdom. A strong wind is coming on the scene. And in, in uh, Exodus chapter 10, God sent a strong wind, it says, in verse 18, Moses then left Pharaoh and prayed to the Lord. How many of you know that there are intercessors, uh, prophetic intercessors, that are praying even at this very moment uh, for that wind to come? And they're calling forth the wind uh, of the Holy Spirit to come. And it says that Moses prayed and the Lord changed the wind into a very strong west wind and which caught up all the locusts, all of the pestilence in the land. And God is dealing with corruption and sin and those things that have polluted the earth and polluted his, his church. Uh, he is sending a strong wind into the church today. Can you say amen? And in chapter 14 of Exodus, God does it again. He sends a strong east wind this time. A wind that's so mighty and so powerful uh, that, it, that it divided uh, the Red Sea. It says here, then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and all that night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land. And we know the story that as that the Israelites got to the sea, they went over on dry land. Hallelujah. God is destroying the pestilence. He is coming with a strong wind to scatter our enemies. Can you say amen? You know, what he said to me this afternoon was that when the wind comes, then the presence of God shows up. You know, in, in 1 Kings, the prophet Elijah was in the, in the cave, and there was a mighty uh, wind, and there was an a uh, earthquake, and God was not in the earthquake, and God was not in the wind, uh, but God's presence came after all of those things happened, in a still, small voice, and he began to speak to Elijah. You know, and God speaks to us through His Spirit today, and through His Word today. We must be prepared for what is going to come in the body of Christ. God is scattering our enemies. And this wind, this strong wind, is being just ushering in the presence of Almighty God. If you need a miracle today, I am speaking that over you right now in Jesus' name. He has told me to release the strong wind to come into your marriage and come into your families, come into your finances, and to bring blessings upon blessings unto you. You know, I think about Acts chapter 2 where those disciples were praying and in one accord and all of a sudden they heard a sound out of a mighty rushing wind. They heard it. They heard that sound. You know, and he told King David uh, in uh, 2 Samuel uh, chapter 5 verse 24, he says, Don't move until you hear the sound in the mulberry trees. You see, we will hear the sound of the strong wind as it's coming. Do you believe that? Do you believe that God is more powerful than your sickness? That God is more powerful uh, and He is the creator of all the universe? Is He more powerful uh, than, than any problem or any situation that you might have in your life that has come to harass you? that has come to torment you? Do you believe that he's stronger? Uh, this mighty wind uh, that he is sending, that it's stronger than any type of, of cancer, uh, any type of mental disorder, that he is mightier than any of those things. I believe that he is. And I believe that
that this strong wind, uh, just like you see behind me, the trees are bending over, and the and the the bushes are blowing, and and God is is coming on the scene uh, with His power and His might uh, to destroy our enemies. Hallelujah! I am so glad that He's that He said that He's going to send a mighty strong wind into his body because I believe that there are those that need to be stirred up. Uh, awake, awake, O children of Zion, and put on your beautiful garments. This is what he's saying to the church today. O daughters of Jerusalem, take the yoke from off your neck and be free this day. I speak that that strong wind will come into your life. And if you want it, ask for it. Just ask him for it, and he will come, and he will divide.